Have you thought about adding a fold to your acreage? Today we're going to talk about mares and foals. We have Cindy Hamilton. Cindy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Can you tell me just quickly, who do we have here? We have the mother of this foal. She's a 12-year-old registered American Quarter Horse. Okay. Her registered name is Linda's Iron One, so her barn name is Linda. Linda. This is her foal. He is three months old, and we call him Kevin. How old would a mare need to be to have a foal? Three years old. Three years old. And how often could you breed her every year? Uh, the gestation for a mare is 11 months, so yes, she could be bred every year. Is there an upper limit on age that you would not want to breed a mare over a certain age? Uh, some mares will foal every year through their 20th year or even longer. If I had a mare and wanted to breed her, where would I go about uh, getting a stallion or getting the semen? Uh, in selecting a stallion, uh, you could check with your local breed associations. Right. Uh, most breed associations have publications with advertisements in it. Uh, you could go online. You could talk to local people that you know that have raised foals and get references. All right. And what about the sire? How do you choose that? You want to take into consideration what you plan on doing with your foal. Okay. Uh, if it's if the foal will be a show horse, you'll want to pick a stallion that has uh, either himself excelled in a particular event, or possibly his offspring has excelled. And Linda is a show horse, is she? Linda is. Uh, she was shown for two years. Okay. Uh, before we had her bred. All right. Now, what kind of equipment and uh, housing do I need to have a foal? You'll want plenty of room for the mare and foal to exercise. All right. For foaling, you'll need a stall, a large stall. A stall. Um, if not a stall, you would want some type of shelter for the mare and foal. Okay. Do I need to have my vet present when the foal was born? No, you don't need to have a veterinarian. Uh, you'll want to uh, talk to your vet at the time you select the stallion, ask any questions you might have regarding foaling, but there's no need to have the vet there unless there are complications. Are there any vaccinations that I need to do prior to foaling? You will need to have the mare vaccinated for rhino pneumonitis okay. at months 5, 7, and 9 during the pregnancy. What are the signs that you might uh, look for to know that it's time for the birth? About a month prior to foaling, you'll notice that uh, the mare's udder starts to enlarge. Okay. Uh, her, her stomach will appear, or her belly will appear to drop. Okay. Um, she'll probably do a lot more standing. And uh, just watch the mare closely and uh, have the foaling stall prepared. All right. And do you usually have to assist the mare in the foaling? Um, we are always there when our foals are born. Okay. We've been lucky enough to be able to do that. But um, you can assist, but generally Mother Nature takes care of things. Right. What special care does the foal take after it's born? Right after the foal is born, you'll want to... Uh, uh, get the foal used to the human touch. Okay. Uh, the imprinting process is wonderful. So that's called imprinting. Yes. Right? What does that mm -hmm. mean? Uh, imprinting is basically being with the foal uh, during birth or immediately after birth and uh, rubbing the, the foal down with the towel, touching the foal uh, in the ears, along the neck, across the back, all four legs, getting him used to the touch of the human. And uh, it's amazing how gentle they are right away if they have been imprinted. It's important to handle the foal every day once it's born. Exercise for the mare and foal is very important. Um, after the foal's a couple weeks old, you can put a halter on it and uh, teach it to lead, to walk beside you. Okay, how old would it have to be to be ridden? Um, two years old. Two years yes. old. Okay, but you would work with it before then. That's correct. So are there any other tips you'd like to share, Cindy? One other thing that's very important right after the foaling process is that the foal receive the mare's colostrum. All right. And um, that's generally um, the first within the first eight hours following birth that you'll want that foal to get the colostrum. Well, thank you very much for those tips, Cindy. Thank you. Now we're going to hear more from Living the Country Life. Looking for the latest gadgets and gear? Check out these cool country tools. 
Go green with John Deere's new low emission Pro Series chainsaws. These models not only give you 25% better fuel efficiency, they have all the safety features you expect from a Deere. Available in two sizes, choose from the 35 or 39 cc engine. Both are lightweight with a no oil at idle feature and both run like a Deere. Renowned equestrian trainer Clinton Anderson personally chose the features for this limited edition Featherlight trailer. With enough room to transport two horses, amenities include an insulated lined horse area, a wallpaper panel dressing room, a carpeted boot box, and a full length mirror. The great features on this trailer make preparing for riding and showing so convenient you may never leave it. Put the power of a Kuntz Acres behind you and get your mowing done right. The 60 inch finish cut mowers can be pulled behind an ATV or offset behind a riding mower for a manicured lawn at high mowing speeds. Three homeowner models are available along with rough cut tow behind mowers for heavy brush and tall grass. To get your cool country tools, log on to livingthecountrylife.com.